The Daily Ministries of Angels in Christian Life, Part 1, The Warrior Angel of Protection by the Side of the Believer Since Birth, on the April 17, 2014 After lying down, an angel of God came and I held his hand, he said Servant of God, the Father told me to show you some things. He is pleased with you as you have removed your load of sins that you were carrying, and you have sanctifying your body, soul and spirit. Suddenly we flew in a tremendous speed and we arrived in a beautiful happy land, and I looked and I saw a three-story crystal, glass and golden building that stood out and shone brightly in the midst of others' buildings in the center of the celestial city. The angel say I'll just show you the lift in the living room and part of the kitchen and few rooms, and we entered the crystal elevator which went up automatically without the push of a button, we enter a very beautiful room. Curtains were curie gold, the sofa was gold and all these furniture was gold pure, the kitchen was also golden, I liked the cutlery for the windows as they were beautiful and gorgeous. The angel said let's see the city come, then we left, we flew over the city, I saw the waters, the flowers and the birds everything was alive, we kept on flying and floating on that happy land, when I looked at the angel who was with me, I saw that he was wearing boots a belt on his hip, with a sword at the waist, and I heard the handle of his sword, I asked why do you wear boots? He said, because I'm an angel warrior of the last hour before the rapture, and I am also the angel that walk with you, I'm always by your side since your birth up to now, I came to understand that even when I was unbeliever, the Lord had sent his angel to protect me as he knew that I will be his servant, the Bible say, the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. The angel said, Remember that you'll never be alone on earth, you do not see me but you feel my presence, I said it's an honor to walk with you, it was on this day that when I met this angel that I came to understand that the Lord had deployed this angel for my ministry, he walks together with me in my ministry, when I'm preaching in the church he is with me, when I'm praising he is with me, wherever I'm witnessing. I've been very glad to have met this angel, part 2 The Recording Angel of Celestial Archives. The angel took me from there, we arrived before another stupendous building in this celestial world, where there was a very large movement of angels working and writing on rolls. The angel told me here is the archive library of heaven where the registration and recording take place. The angel told me, each saint on the earth have been assigned a recording angel whose duty is to write and record every action of a saint on the earth, as we are here gathered in the church there is an angel writing and recording everything I'm talking about, all the action and deeds we do are recorded in celestial books by angel, there is an angel who keeps track of everything you do, everything you say and think, everything is registered. The angel went there in this archive hall and he pulled a golden book upon which were written all my action, he came with that golden book and he opened it, he said, everything is written. The angel told me, when the gospel is preached, whenever people come to Christ, the Lord erase all their sin, and throw everything there in the sea of oblivion. Truly everything you did before your repentance are thrown in the sea of oblivion, it is from the moment we lift our hand and confess our sin that all of our sins since birth are erased and forgotten, we are thus newborn and new creation whose sins were thrown into oblivion never to be remembered again, it is when we are born again in the spirit that the Lord assigned the angel of archive and record, whose duty is to write everything we do and say, everything is recorded for we are now new creation we are born anew, the recording angel will be writing every one of our action and deed throughout the day while we are awake, the moment we lay down to sleep, this angel of archive and recording will ascend to heaven and the guarding angel will be protecting us in the night when we sleep, when we wake up again in the morning. The angel of archive and recording would be writing everything we do and say and think. I went to the dormitory where I rented and prayed to God. In a vision he showed me in churches of different denominations, I saw every angel writing down what was being spoken there. Every church has an angel that records everything we say in the name of God. Every minister who spoke in the pulpit an angel wrote everything down what they said, pastors, evangelists, and missionaries, watch what you preach, all this will be used as evidence for condemnation of the apostate and all those who preach heresies, 
churches of prosperity that preach the gospel with business concepts, woe to you if you do not change your preaching, there is an angel on the altar who records all this, part 3 angels of prayer and altar, the angel came down to me and said I had a mission, I had to lie down on the ground for my spirit to leave, the angel of God went up with me to heaven through a ladder, we walked on it until entering the door of heaven, the angel said, remember the ladder that Jacob saw? This is the heavenly ladder, we entered heaven, we began to walk in paradise, the angel showed me a great white temple that shone, we went to the door of this temple, with the gaze from afar, I saw the angel at the altar with a golden goblet next to a man who was sitting on the throne, whose face I could not see, only from his waist down, I asked, what angel is he that is on the altar of God the Father? The angel said to me, it is the angel priest, he deposits the prayers of the saints that are on the earth, at the right time, these prayers will be answered, in front of the angel priest, I saw a group of angels around the altar, I asked who are these angels who guard the altar, the angel said, they are cherubim, guardians of the holy altar, I looked upon the throne, I saw angels standing and floating around the throne praising God, I asked the angel, who are these? The angel said, these are the seraphim. The angel and I began to walk within the temple, with little distance from the front of the altar, I saw the twenty-four men with white hair, their robes looked like priests. The angel said, it is the twenty-four elders who praise God, I saw four angels half men and half animals, as we were moving in the paradise of God, I saw a group of angels, with serious expressions, picking up things from the ground and putting them into a sack or bag, once it was full, they lifted the bag up and took it in the same direction where the angel was leading me, I asked the angel, where are we going? The angel told me I would find out when we got there, I cannot describe exactly what the angels were doing and why they were picking up things and putting them into bags to take away because I had never seen anything like it before, the second group of angels, I came across on the road, were bringing things from the place my guiding angel and I were going to, and they were bringing these things to the place my guide and I had left, a little later, my companion angel and I came across a third group of angels, a few of the angels were working, but the majority of them were sitting around, doing nothing, I asked the angel of the Lord why the first group was serious and busy picking up things to take away, why the second group was busy taking things back, and why the third group of angels was divided between busy angels and idle angels, the angel explained that the first group of angels was gathering the prayers of the righteous believers, these prayers had arrived in heaven from earth, the second group of angels was taking the answers, from God to the prayer requests and bringing them to the righteous believers who had been praying, the third group of angels had the responsibility of gathering the thanksgiving and praise to God from the earth, the angels who were idle had nothing to do because many saints, or Christians, in the earth were not giving thanks and praise to God, the few angels who were working gathered the comparatively small amount of praise and thanksgiving that some of the saints had given to God. Angels sit idle when no thanksgiving is being rendered to God, part for the angel of tithing. The angel of the Lord said, by the instruction of the one who lives forever, I am here to explain to humanity the mystery of the tithe, the workers of the devil have fought against these proceeding yet this is invested by God for angels that are his creation that ordain to reside in your house. The angel said, your father Abraham has two affiliations with you a spiritual affiliation and a physical affiliation, God in heaven has linked you to your father Abraham in the spiritual level but you needed a material affiliation to your father Abraham, we have come to reveal the principle that will link you physically to Abraham's blessing, you are heirs with Abraham and you have the faith of Abraham, but you need to connect to Abraham's material blessings although, in the spirit level, you are heirs with him, so then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham, and if ye be Christ's, then are ye Abraham's seed, and heirs according to the promise. The angel said to me, Be careful, a house become a habitation of angels, have you not read the Lord's prayer when he said? Let your will be done on earth like it is in heaven, you have not grasped the meaning of the Lord's prayer, you have been in heaven and you know nothing about it, 
The Lord's Prayer means that the engineer of heaven must come down to earth in order to configure your house in the image of heaven so that it will become a habitation of angels. We are the engineers, we are the ones who come down in your house in order to configure it in the image of heaven, in order to bring you things that exceed your understanding and imagination. Your house must be configured so that it would become a habitation of angels. The angel said, Moreover, when the Lord dead in the house of Zacchaeus, Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man, too, is a son of Abraham. He said these words after having eaten a material food from his house, which has created a link with Abraham's material blessings. He continued his discourse and said, Now this is the prerequisite for your home to be configured in the image of heaven so that it would become a residence of angels. Firstly, you have to understand that we seraphim were created with the intention of praise, so when we come to your house through the tithe, in order to make it our residence, we impart to you the anointing of praise, we impart to you the anointing of praise so that you can become commendable and honorable being, in fact, when he come to your house through tithe, in order to make it our residence, we look around in order to identify and locate things in various aspects of your life that render you shameful and dishonored, we identify aspects of your life where there is a shame and where there is humiliation, the case of Sarah's sterility was a humiliation and shame in Abraham's house, that is why after eating at Abraham's house, the Almighty asked for Sarah. The angel said the house that pays tithes deserves to be honored, all the descendants of Abraham are supposed to be blessed because Abraham has paid tithes for them in advance, that is why the Lord said, this daughter of Abraham deserves to be free, the seraphim said, you have to understand that one tithe is equal to one angel in your life. Lack of tithes means lack of angels in your house. The angel said, we come to the house and the lives of people who pay tithes, every time a man pays a tithe, one of us come in his life and will be in his life until his death, if you pay tithe monthly you will be getting one angel every month, it is this way that your house will become the residence of angels, part 5 the medical angels of health and healing, I would like to tell you what happened to me recently, I could not understand what was wrong with my health, I suffered from intense pain, I could not stand it and I was crying, normally I do not use medication when I am sick, for I pray with faith and I always have results, but on this occasion, I took drugs to try to stop the pain that was excruciating and intense, but there was still no improvement in fact the left part of my head was in extreme pain, I could only pray for 40 minutes yet I pray 2 hours every night, after the prayer I could not close my eyes to sleep because of the pain so I was there watching, it was 3 a.m. when suddenly I saw brilliant and radiant angels burst into my room, they all greeted me, I noticed they were dressed like medical doctor, one of them was holding a plate and on that plate there was a syringe, tweezers, scissors and other medical and pharmaceuticals instruments, then one of these angels tells me, Joshua, we have come to administer you a treatment, we are here to remove the disease that is in your body disturbing you, then this bright and radiant angel told me, I am giving you two injections on the left part of your head where you feel the pain, then the two resplendent angel opened my head and they started to perform the operation on me, without giving me sedation, and they gave me two more injections, then they have closed my heads after taking blood, when they finished their treatment they told me, you are cured, one of the twelve angels said to me, we're going to perform a test with the blood that we took from your body. They said, we will give you the test result later but you are healed, beloved. This was not a dream, as I said I could not sleep or close my eyes because of the pain, so my eyes were open and I looked with eyes wide opened when the angels opened my head to perform the operation, when the twelve angels of the Lord were leaving I touched my head, and I noticed that there was no scar. Immediately after their departure I realized that the pain was gone, I was completely healed, a few more days later, I was kneeling in prayer when one of the twelve angel of the Lord came with the result of the blood test, he informed me that the illness that was in my body was the tumor, resulting from excess use of mobile phone, whenever you use the name of Jesus Christ against sickness in the body the Lord deployed a medical angel in your life for there are angels having medical skills available for the church, 
Part 6 The Angel of the Anointing The angel said that God is always faithful to his word, any supernatural experience and spiritual phenomena will always obey the word without hurting it, only the diabolical supernatural experiences that wound biblical principles. The angel took me into a room in the sky and showed me glasses of gold with anointing oils, every oil had a function for every servant that was on earth. The angel showed me in heaven and I saw an angel pouring oil on the head of a brother, an angel by my side said that it is the oil of sanctification, this oil is poured out to give strength to the servants to walk in holiness, that anointing is for those who live a pure and straight life before God, I saw an angel spilling in another kind of oil, I saw a dirty water coming out of that brother, I asked for the angel for which he serves he said, it is the anointing of the purification, it is for those who are attached to some sin and pray for God to deliver them, I saw when the angel poured out the prophetic anointing on that brother and he prophesied, I saw anointing oil of protection being poured into the head of a drunken person who was not converted, the angel told me that demons could no longer kill that person who had received that anointing for he was in danger, but God had a great work in that man life. I saw angels pouring anointing of leadership on pastors, bishops, evangelists and teachers. The angel told me, when God commands his servants to be anointed, their ministries will be fulfilled. I looked at the earth and I saw an angel pouring oil on a boy who was drugged, there came out from inside him a black leftover. The angel told me, that anointing is of liberation, the demons that oppressed that body left. I looked and saw the pastor making the appeal so that boy accepted Jesus, he accepted Jesus from the heart, I saw when the angel poured a red oil on the head of that man, I saw another angel with a golden book in his hand made notes, the angel said, he received a drop of the blood of Christ in his head, that soul just received the sacrifice of the Lord, he is anointed by the grace of Jesus, his name was written in the book of life. I saw angels pouring anointing of healing, and people being healed of cancer and others receiving inner healing, I saw black spots coming out of the hearts of those people, the angel said that those people were being freed from sorrows and resentments, I saw dark shadows coming out from within the heads of the people, the angel said that these people were being healed of the depression, I saw the anointing of wisdom. I also saw people receiving anointing of the renewal and their strength renewed, I saw angels spilling anointings preparing people for spiritual warfare, these are the anointings of spiritual overlaying, I saw people receiving anointings of love, I saw when pouring that oil, a white ball entered into each heart, I saw people receiving the anointing of joy, they were happy and began to worship God, I saw angels pouring anointings of praise. Those people began to praise when they received that anointing, I saw souls weeping and giving their lives to God through the anointing they saw of the praises, I saw when another angel poured an anointing on the head of a couple, that anointing was restoring that marriage that was almost destroyed, as a result of the anointing they were restored, I saw angels pouring anointing of forgiveness on the heads of people who were rebellious and they had repented in receiving these anointings. I saw their sins being forgiven, an angel was erasing their iniquity from that book, I saw angels pouring anoints on the heads of those who helped the work of God financially, I saw an angel pour an anointing on the head of the pastor of the church, I saw the pastor preach and his words came out like balls of fire and destroyed chains, people were freed and left their sins. I saw people having their feet anointed and others the hands, I asked the angel of what was involved. He told me, many are being prepared to walk in the gospel and others to do good works and works in the harvest, I saw when the angel anointed the ear of a person and she began to give and we went out into the city, Jesus came to me, the angel left us and went away, part 7 the angels of purification, we were in prayer, I saw angels descending through the ceiling of the church, lately, in my preaching, the angels have worked hard among the people, they have helped my ministry and wherever I go, I have the Holy Spirit that is with me and I see angels descending from heaven to the church, I saw angels with burning tongues, the Holy Spirit revealed to me that many tongues were being purified in that place, 
I saw angels using their tongues to touch the hearts of the people, the Holy Spirit revealed that it was cleansing the hearts full of sinful desires, I saw angels touching on the people's foreheads, the Holy Spirit revealed to me that he was cleansing minds full of immorality and was preparing the people. I was invited to minister in another church, the Holy Spirit revealed to me that there were people with impure eyes in that place, full of malice even being Christians, watching pornography on the internet, I prayed and asked Jesus to touch those people's eyes and burn them all the evil, I saw angels with their pincers touching the eyes of those people purifying their eyes, to give way to a holy look instead of a malicious glance, after these angels activities, people felt their eyes burn. In a vision, I saw their eyes like a flame of fire, it was the purification that was happening, I told the church everything that was happening there, a week later I went back to the same church and these people who were purified told their releases, never again did they watch pornography, their eyes could not bear to look at immoral things since that day, I made the closing prayer in that place, the Holy Spirit revealed to me that the angels cannot purify some people, for their minds and hearts were hardened, the Holy Spirit said, it is necessary to have new hearts after God's heart and a new mind equal to Jesus, have everyone stand in front of the altar and pray for them, I have seen that some people have not had their hearts and minds purified with the stubborn ones going beyond the limits where their hearts are so filthy that they are worthless to God, the only solution would be a spiritual transplant, the people stood in a row, I prayed for everyone there, many Christian people were falling to the ground, fainting, I saw angels touching each person and they passed out, not all fell, only those who needed a new transplant, those touched by the angels were slain in the spirit, they seemed to be anesthetized, those who had their hearts, minds, and visions were not touched by the angels, I saw those people that fell to the ground receiving special treatment, I saw angels doing spiritual surgeries in each brother there, angels taking blackened hearts and other angels putting new hearts in the breasts of people, the Lord gave a heart according to his, putting a heart of flesh, drawing black hearts and stones away, they took away the blackened brains and put new brains, giving aspects of the mind of Jesus and those old brains and old hearts the angels put on a tray and took them away, recording angels I had a vision with angels going down in the churches to take notes of what is being preached and taught over the pulpits, even the kinds of phrases were noted by the angels, even the types of clothing that people come to church, the behaviors are also noted, and when a person was converted the angel wrote down her name in a book, there were two angels for each church, one wrote down conversions, one remorse, and one was willing to renounce everything for Jesus and the other angel wrote down the sins, one angel wrote down what was good and the other wrote down what was wrong, so I always tell the church where I am a pastor to watch when they enter the house of prayer, I teach to do a true worship, with much devotion and worship to God without any scandal, two other angels came down and took reports of what was happening and went up, do you know where they keep these annotation reports? When I was in heaven. I saw the angels guarding the reports of the churches in a room of gold files, it is through these reports that many will be judged, I also saw in the vision angels inside the homes of Christians making notes of what happens, they would note when Christian couples argued with words of offense, a Christian walking in the 